Welcome to HF Young Helden, HF Young Heroes. My name is Martha Visser, and uh, I'm a member of the HF Young Circle, which is a group and a platform for getting younger audience engaged in the Holland Festival productions. And today I will interview Adele Hanel at the ITA in Amsterdam. We chose you as one of our HF Young heroes. Okay. So you're a hero, Adele. How does it feel to be a hero? Um, <laughs> um, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to answer. <laughs> okay. But I mean, also in general, um, you probably noticed in the, in, in, in the theater, but also in general, you are an example for, for a group of young actors, young women. Um, is that something you can you can tell something about? Um, I don't know. It's weird to talk about how you were perceived mm -hmm. because uh, I, I, I don't perceive myself the same way. You know? I, I don't know. I just I started to play theater because I liked it to act, but I didn't relate it, it to some representation I would have. You know, it's mm -hmm. just like when I was young, I would mostly see cartoons and stuff, so mm -hmm. those were my like role models, so to say. Uh -huh. So I don't, I don't really think like that. I don't really think about, I mean, about following someone's path. Mm -hmm. I'm just, I would say, if there are people that I follow, it would be people that are using their freedom and their creativity in order to uh, push their own individuals' uh, relationship mm -hmm. to art. How did you discover, or when did you discover that you wanted to play? Is there a specific moment? Well, I always played since I'm, I mean, since I'm very, very young, mm -hmm. like four or five or something. And I just didn't, I it always enjoyed it, but I didn't know it was, it could be a job actually. Uh -huh. So those were two different moments. Then when I did a movie with Seventeen, then I started to, um, think about making a career mm -hmm. in, the, in the cinema world. Yeah. So Normally you do film work and mm -hmm. what made you uh, uh, play this uh, part? I used to do more uh, film, okay. but now I'm more and more working on, uh, I mean, towards a theater project. Okay. Um, and it's just because it's not that I choose the part, it's just I choose the collaboration and I really wanted to collaborate with uh, Giselle Vienne. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I just, I didn't know her work, but I would like, eventually I would do a workshop with her and then I really enjoyed the way she worked and what she is looking for and mm -hmm. the precision of her gaze. And so this is why I choose to commit to that project. Mm -hmm. And I'm very happy with it because for me, it's the first time on stage and one of the first time ever in my career that I collaborate with someone who is so um, sharp and mm -hmm. in her decision and he in her vision. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, I'm really happy I I get to work on this. You know? mm -hmm. So it's not like I choose a part. And no. um, by the way, it's like we we rehearse a lot, and the part now is and the and the piece now is even it's totally different from what we started from so oh. we we co-created mm -hmm. the part the beginning we had like uh, the whole piece so mm -hmm. we we would like do it and do it over and over again so in order to create uh, more and more um, contrast yeah and it would by itself also uh, come to another uh, story I don't mm -hmm. know how to say. so we developed the story that way 
and we are still developing it now as we are already uh, performing. Uh, yeah. And did you have that before, maybe in, in film as well, that you actually had influence uh, on, on and, and actually were developing the piece you were working on yourself? Yeah, so there is a something uh, in the perception a lot of journalists mm -hmm. can have about like collaboration between artists mm -hmm. and that would like create a hierarchy f between uh, like actors and uh, filmmakers or mm -hmm. directors that would like have the ideas and actor just be the body, you know. Of course, it's not the same uh, responsibility, mm -hmm. but I, I always try to have my own ideas on project I'm, I, I worked on. Yeah, and they would always uh, influence the director. Yes, of course. So and on the and the other way around also, it's a conversation. Mm -hmm. So, but I would say like for this piece, what is different is that we really. Um, understand I think we are following we understand each other on the deep research we are doing so this is the I mean this is the this is what makes it special to me and then practically uh, preparing and rehearsing mm. how did that go because mm. uh, especially what you said that it was this whole uh, project of development yeah so it was a very long path and mm -hmm. it is still on we so we let's say the foundation of this way of acting is dissociation uh, dissociation which can create so you can have several ry rhythm mm -hmm. in the body mm -hmm. at the same time so it creates a melody because you can have like a like a beat uh, with your body for example mm -hmm. then you would like add the stop on it so you create another beat and the, then on it you can add uh, like the speak the the voice for example mm -hmm. this is just like a simple and then in the voice you can because there are a dissociation of characters in mm -hmm. the voice then you will create several melodies like one character will speak very slowly and the other one is going to speak very fast you know so it's like how you create you the way of acting in this piece and in Jesus work in general is to have your body not as a unity not only as a unity but also as an orchestra your singularity is gonna can uh, have more tools to express itself and also it's just like because when you when when you start to dissociate when you start to use your body and your voice and everything as if it's an orchestra then you can bring something that is very important to me is like joy because you don't you can like for example the as you mentioned it the, the play is quite heavy mm -hmm. But for me to play, it's I really enjoy it. I don't feel like heavy. I don't feel. Like, I mean, I don't feel it like oh, I'm I'm sad after it. I'm just having so much fun doing it. You know. Oh, that's that's very interesting because I thought it would be um, extremely exhausting for you. It's physically. It's. Yeah. Uh, in, uh, I'm, I'm after. I'm like. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm wasted, Empty. but I'm also totally excited yeah. because in the in the show there are many stuff that require something that you do in your brain that is kind of. Uh, like fitness for the brain, yeah. Because you, I would speak to myself a lot and discuss with myself, and also while discussing with myself, I would do something else with my body. So it's, mm -hmm. it's just like something. It's like a drummer. Actually. Yeah, yeah, exactly. This uh, requires a lot of uh, work, mm -hmm. like, um, and it took. Um, I think it took like one year to start to be a little bit okay. But then for a year I was like totally lost and it's of course not a very um, uh, nice feeling. And also because it's another, um, uh, it's another relationship with, uh, yeah, with, um, with your body. You yeah. have to, re to rethink all the relationship you have with your own body. Mm -hmm. and, and this is always, I, for me, actually for me, uh, it's always, um, at the beginning, it's like nothing happened. You work and you work, and you still cannot do it. And then nothing happened mm -hmm. until suddenly something happened, and everything is there. Yeah. You know. So it uh, really felt like that, as if you were trying and trying, and then at once it felt you were yeah. getting there. <laughs> yeah, mostly. And so and and then I also uh, can imagine that in film you're preparing a lot, and then it's done, and then it's out there. But now you are doing this play. Mm several times could yeah. you play it like for a year yeah. every 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 couple of days it's a good question 
actually because it's uh, this is a very important um, thing on in theater is that you have to keep the show live so yeah. it has to develop it has to be a never ending research and you have to dare to also take new curves mm -hmm. to change uh, to change some scene when they are starting to become too, too stiff you know even though you say like oh that was something I used to like but you have to dare to to change it in order to keep it live ah. and in order to keep the relation with to always being uh, like trying to say something new or uh, experiencing at the moment yeah so and I, I, um, I would think that what what matters the most was uh, the intensity of the emotion I was like, I should be the most intense possible, uh, uh, play the most uh, in the most intensive way. Mm -hmm. And now, yeah, I, I, I think that um, singularity mm -hmm. is not in this intensity. It's yeah. more into the melody I am uh, uh, blowing, yeah. uh, or that I'm um, uh, like uh, the melody of my life mm -hmm. is my singularity, which is not only. I mean. Everyone's singularity, yeah. you know. So, and it involves le less violence, yeah. and it involves m uh, more uh, equal relationships. Yeah. So maybe you also look forward very much to um, putting everything you learn now in in the future to to explore that further and to to take all the the knowledge and the um, experience you have right now after this play to to play other um, works? I, I will definitely be impacted uh, by what I am experiencing now uh, mm -hmm. performing this show. And this is a very good thing. Um, I'm, so, I'm happy my uh, sensibility is getting, uh, um, I don't know, more, more uh, precise or mm -hmm. more, uh, more sensible. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but then, of course, I cannot forget that, but there are two stuff. First, I don't know if you just can take what you, you do here to another um, scene, yeah. because it's like an invasion of another piece of art by Giselle's work, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. And then it's also, even though I, I think there is something here that could be a path, a very inter interesting path of creation. I still have to be aware that mm -hmm. I'm sure there are other paths that would feel like evident on dit that it's mm -hmm. a, um, uh, that exist, and I have to stay open to other paths. Yeah, you know what I mean? so yeah. So I think uh, that was it, Adele. Thank you so much. Thank Our you. Age of Young followers will really enjoy, and also the young actors among them uh, learn a lot from it. Uh, good luck for the rest of the Holland Festival. Thank Enjoy you very much. the other uh, stuff you will see. And yeah. um, well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Okay, <laughs> thanks.